Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're running on steps in the M55. Now this is one of the few times I've been on steps lately and it has not been Sandstorm. Thank God. As an arty player in Sandstorm it kind of limits you in what you can be effective on because you can't see as far as you normally do because of the reduced radio range. But this is not that case. So we're on steps and we're going to go over here since we spawned in the south. We're going to go to K0 and go up on top of that hill. I do this for a couple reasons. And it, the main reason is it allows me to uh, stay hidden for as long as possible. So we're just driving along, minding our business, went out of a purple colored sky. No? I think it's orange colored sky actually. But anyway, so we're over here to the hill and you'll see me, I'm going to climb up this hill and then I'm going to sit right there in the, the shoehorn right there. And this map goes really, really poorly for our team. And it requires me to try to clutch it out. Um, we, and I say it requires me to clutch it out for a couple of reasons. I'm not, well, I am kind of. There's only two tanks left in the end of this. But um, right off the bat, we've got a 113. And it seems like their team is pushing in. So there we get a shot of damage. Just in case anybody's looking here, I move to make sure I don't get counter-batteried. I have rarely been counter-batteried from that spot. And it looks like we got a good roll of right around 500, most likely, on the 113. So uh, then we got a Tiger II. And a Bat Chat. Now this Bat Chat, I just... Trying to get a shot on a bat chat is hard enough, let alone a bat chat that's bobbing and weaving. It's it's darn near impossible. So shot out on the 113 again. And we hit right behind where he was at. So I'm guessing that he just charged straight down and they're going to be coming our direction real soon. So now I'm going to back up and get to where I can shoot the guys on the right a little bit easier. Because they're getting a little too close for my comfort. Shot out. We get a good roll. Took about half the health off the Tiger too. That'll discourage him from sitting still much longer. Now we've got a Death Star rolling up. That Death Star is going to be my priority. Because he just he has the ability to one-shot pretty much everybody. So I want to make sure. And there it is. He pulls up, takes one shot. The guy's dead. Now I know the guy was almost dead to begin with. But that's not the point. So shot out. Direct hit on the Death Star. Again, these guys are getting pretty close, so I'm just backing up a little bit further on the, the hill so that I can get better shots. And as you can see, our team is kind of surrounded on both flanks, which is not preferable at all. But as an arty, it's our duty to, to try to pull us out of this. So shot out. We splashed him and tracked him. Hopefully they can finish him off. Alright, now we've got that 113 on the far right again. He's the furthest forward, so he is going to get my attention. Okay, so the 113 is not spotted, but this VK-45 is. So shot out. And he's dead. Now we've got a Tiger II, the one we hit for 650 earlier, and the 113. The 113's the biggest threat. I need to get him off the board. So 12 seconds to reload. His track will be fixed by then. He's either going to roll backwards or he's going to come forwards. He's coming forwards. I know it's only a 1.2 second flight time, so as soon as I reload, I need to put the shot directly on him or in front of him. And he stops, so I take the shot. I get spotted, but I do really mess him up. He's, he's pretty much a one-shot for anybody. Now, I've been spotted very early in this game, and I don't want to stay that way. 
So I charge forward. We managed to knock the first couple guys back. And our team's looking pretty good right now. We've got a lead. It's a two tank lead, so it's not much. Focus attention here. So I, I don't have anybody on the right side right now to shoot at. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back up to my uh, forward firing position. And take shots on the left side. I don't really have a whole lot of shots out on this Maws because he's right up against that rock. But I'm going to take the shot anyway. 108 damage to a Maws is nothing. It's a mosquito bite. E5 gets tagged. He's not going to sit up there long enough for me to reload. Four seconds out. All right, I'm going to try to take another shot on this Moss if he stops. Shot out. There we go. We got 300. So we're whittling him away. Still, 400 damage to a Moss isn't much. Now this Bat Chat, on the other hand, I would love to have been able to get a shot on him. And just for the simple fact that Bat Chats are an absolute nightmare. But the Moss is... Uh, Holding fast, he's backing up, take another shot at him. I splash him for 82 and track him. Unfortunately, nobody's in a spot that they can hit him, so that's out of the question. Now we've got a tank destroyer moving up straight ahead. That's the Death Star. He's got very little health left, but he's still got that big gun. So if he puts that shot onto somebody, they're probably not going to like the result. And I just can't get a shot on this guy. So I back up. I try to get a better shot lined up. Light tank's coming straight for me. And then he veers off at the last second to go for the tank destroyer. The tank destroyer finishes him. So now that's three to four. Plus we have an arty. So we've got a heavy tank down the center road, and I get spotted at the moment that I pop my head up. So that's not what I want to do. So I'm going to relocate to the right side so that I can get shots on these guys without having to worry about poking up and having to aim in. So I'm going to sneak around this right side, get down below ground, and see if we can't put some shots on these guys. All right, this should be lower, low enough, so I'm going to stop right here. We're going to roll right up. Moz is wide open, begging for it. As soon as I aim in. And shot out. Good shot, 675 right there. Got him down to about half health now. So now he at least knows that he's not, not in the best position. So the Moss, we've got 10 seconds to reload, and I would love to be able to hit this Moss again. They're just giant arty magnets. And shot out. Nope, wait, shot out. Set him on fire, and it just looked like he was about to burn to death, and he put it out. So he had a manual fire extinguisher, unfortunately. And he's going to die. I mean, as soon as I reload, I just, it just stinks that I have to take another shot at him. Um, if I don't kill him, they kill him. So as soon as I reload, I'm getting him off the board. And shot out. Down. 14 health left. That's all he had. So. Alright. Now we saw the, black, the bat chat just for a split second there. And uh, now we've got a sliding around the left. And the heavy tank going for our heavy tank. So he's going to ram him, and the moment they do that, I'm put the shot out, and we get him. So we knock him out. That leaves just the bat chat. It's a 1v3 situation. Um, the bat chat's going to do everything he can to kill this E5, and the E5 is going to bounce a couple of his rounds, which saves his life. 
and I wish I was loaded. And the moment that I put the shot out and then I hit his tracks and don't do any damage. And you'll see this <laughs> a few times in this, this match. Um, our tank destroyer really does nothing the rest of the match. And that's disappointing because we have the advantage. Our heavy's heading towards their cap. This bat chat is just trying to reload. And if he reloads, he's going to kill us. So I got him spotted. I took the shot out. He kept going straight. I thought he was going to turn. So instead of doing damage, I track him. And again, if our if our tank destroyer had moved up, we probably would have killed him right there. But he's not. He's sitting right on top of our base. So he's doing no no good for our team right now. And I believe it's an RHM Borsig uh, Tier 8 German tank destroyer. So I told the, uh, the RHM he needs to watch the right side. And what does he do? He just sits there. That bat chat could get within two blocks of him and he wouldn't even know he was there. So they, they both have ridiculous camo values, which means I'm the one that's at risk. <laughs> But the heavy's going to go try to cap, and that's a great move that draws the bat chat to you. And there's the bat chat. So I'm going to try to take good shot here. I put the shot out. He turns to the right and goes down into the hill instead of coming straight out. It looked like he was going to come straight out. Now I'm like, okay, he's going to come for me. Now, after that engagement, this bat chat waits a long time. And I thought he was going to, you know, I thought our tank destroyer would move up, and he didn't. And he keeps refusing to move up. So he's not helping our team at all. He's just sitting at the base. And he's got a good gun. There's no reason he can't move up. If for nothing else but to spot for me. But it's not meant to be. So we're going to wait for it. And hopefully uh, that bat chat. And you can see I'm starting to get antsy. I'm pretty sure he's coming straight for me. But that, that heavy being in the base almost guarantees that he's going to go for the heavy. I mean he's got plenty of mobility. He could have came back, killed me, and then went back to the heavy. But now he's not got a whole lot of time left, so he's got to go for that heavy. If he wants to save this match, he has to kill the heavy, or at least reset the cap. So I'm assuming he's in this area because that was his last known, but he could be on the left side of him as well, and I was expecting him to flank the uh, heavy, and he didn't. So now he takes a shot at the heavy, and here we go again. 2.3 second flight time, shot out. It looks good. And again, that shot fell short, otherwise that would have killed him. I timed it right, I put the shot on the money, and it just wasn't meant to be. So now this uh, bat chat is starting to feel it. We've got two minutes left. I'm sure he's reloading right now because he needs to kill both of us. So if he's got half a brain cell, he's going to be reloading. And he's just going to bide his time, and then he's going to come in and try to kill both of us. Um, he needs two shots to kill me. And I don't know how much health that uh, RHM has right off the top of my head. But two shots to kill me. We can just say he needs the other four to kill the other guy. Um, which sounds a little bit high, to be honest, because I don't think he's got 1,600 hit points. He probably has like 800, which means he needs only two shots to kill him as well. But we know he's going to be coming from the left side. I'm zoomed in, I'm aimed in, I'm ready. All I gotta do is is get him spotted. And again, this tank destroyer is not doing crap to help the team. He's just sitting there doing nothing. Now, he does end up spotting this guy right at the end of the match here. And uh, unfortunately, it's just too late. We don't end up hitting him. And uh, this match ends up being a draw. So, 
There ain't a whole lot we can do about it. We tried to do everything we could do. I mean, it says we've got 15 hits. We did set the malls on fire, so a couple of those are actually fire damage. But we've got three kills, uh, 13 critical hits, and uh, at least one track hit after we hit somebody and tracked them. And you can see, I start getting antsy again, and I look to my right to make sure he's not coming from my right. He's not, so I pull back up. Seven seconds left. Six, five, four, three. Oh, he's spotted on my left. And I try to clutch shot, and I miss. But it is what it is. We did as best we could, which is 6,500 damage and three kills, top of the leaderboard on our team. Everything we could do. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.